So I've been up for, I don't even know what time it is, nine-ish maybe. My alarm went off at six because that's the time I go to work. I get up to go to work, so six. <laughs> so this is day two of COVID. So I'm gonna tell you the worst thing about COVID. <coughs> 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 It is not the massive headache that feels like I'm in a vice right now. And my jaw even hurts. My jaw feels like it's being crushed. My head hurts so bad. I'm taking medicine. No, the doctor hasn't called me. This is the worst thing. My, my youngest, my kids, they're, they couldn't sleep. My daughter was crying. She's like, Mommy, are you going to be here when we wake up? I said, yes, I'm going to be here. I promise. But because I'm 45 years older than her, and 41 years older than my son, I'm not going to be here. Not. When she's 50, I'll be 95. 54 right now. Chances are when she hits my age, she won't have me. So I always tell them, if anything ever happens to me, how will you hear me? And they say, the dragon flies, mom, the dragon flies. And I say, how will you hear me? She goes in the, the train, the whistle of the train. And I tell them, if it's a dragonfly, I'm just coming around to visit. And if it's the whistle of the train that you hear, it's me telling you that I love you. Do not get on this bed. You're not near me, are you? Are you near me? No. Don't get near me. I'm not near you. Okay. That's one of the hardest things, too, is tell them to get away from you. You're like, get away from me. Get away from me. My eyes hurt. Everything hurts. But then I figured, so I just want to come on here and tell you the hardest part of COVID. And that's what happens. When they're so worried about you that they fear that you're not going to be there in the morning. I can't. It hurts so bad. I'm going to live, I promise. I'm going to be here. It's just my head hurts so bad. My throat hurts too, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. But my head it just hurts so bad. I took medicine. Well, I didn't take the antiviral because, you know, they never called me. So. I took two a leave again. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I took two a leave again. <coughs> that hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot. Uh, I'm like eating my blanket. They're being really good. But like, last night she couldn't sleep. She's just crying. And I haven't brushed my teeth again. <laughs> it's been two days. I need to brush my teeth. I just don't feel like getting up. I have not lost my sense of taste. <laughs> but I don't feel like eating. No, I'm not hungry at all. I'm not even thirsty. My daughter made me have some Sprite. Well, she made me drink something and Sprite just happened to be handy because I had a bottle yesterday. And I still have half the bottle. It, it's, it's like it, it itches my throat. <clears throat> for me <clears throat> and then the potato chips and it's so funny they're like you shouldn't be eating that I'm like I know but it, it helps because it's like itching my throat you know does that, make, does that make any sense it's like scratching it for me and that's what I need I'm tired I've been sleeping I haven't got out of bed well I went to the bathroom this morning maybe I don't know 
I am tired, just tired. <laughs> Trying not to cough because it hurts. Can't help it because it hurts. <clears throat> I called in to work. And let me tell you, in this day, this is, this is how dumb I am. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel so bad. I feel like, oh my God, people have to work extra hard because I'm not there. <clears throat> Maybe they can find something else for me to do. I mean, I can't get out of bed, so there's no, no issue with that. But I still feel guilty. I feel guilty that I'm not helping. That I'm, I'm leaving a hole. That I'm making somebody work because I'm sick. Yeah, I know it's dumb, but I feel that way. And somebody has to feed my children. Take care of them. And somebody's taking care of me. They actually went to the store to give me a Sprite. I'm like, you don't have to do that. They did anyway. <laughs> you know what I want? I, I'm just craving it. It's not like I'm hungry or anything, but I, I want coffee. <laughs> I want coffee. Because if I have coffee, then I know that I'm back. I'm in my routine. I'm, I'm going to get up. I'm going to have some coffee. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to go to work. <clears throat> I kind of miss that routine when you don't have it. My arm is shaking again. If there isn't any light, I closed all the windows. I mean, not the windows, but the blinds. The blinds? How many blinds? <laughs> <coughs> I have um, curtains. The really dark ones are like brown. Yeah, and they let most of the light out. No, they let... They keep most of the light out. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I don't think I, my brain is slow. It's just tired. It's so funny because I felt so. I, I woke up and I was like, oh, I feel good. I'm so well rested. Then I wanted to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, God, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. <laughs> I gotta go lay down. <clears throat> What was the worst thing about COVID for you? For me, it's my children. Them worrying about me. I never want them to worry about me. It's my job to worry about them. And I'm super emotional. I gotta get off. When it comes to my children, I get super emotional. Holy crap. But this is my COVID experience day two. How was yours? What's the worst thing about having COVID? What do you think it is? Oh, my time is up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.